What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to talk a little bit about this. So I saw this sort of post that next week Instagram will start hiding likes in the US region. So they will start to experiment with that. And I think this is amazing in many ways. Because it's very interesting. So, okay, we have these vanity metrics. Followers plus likes. And... Um, in many ways, this should sort of be hidden in some ways. Well, what I'm, it's like you should at least have the ability to sort of customize the interface. So they have sort of started to realize Instagram that a lot of these vanity metrics is, um, is making the platform, it's not really encouraging proof of brain. And uh, of course, that's why all these new systems are being invented like Steam blockchain where you try to move to proof of brain and digital tokens and ownership in a network where everyone is sort of um, everyone has an incentive to sort of keep to keep the network running smoothly and sort of that every person is sort of looking at okay how should this sort of be well that's not how it works on sort of Instagram or these um or Twitter, for example, you have these vanity metrics, and um, it's really interesting now, especially when, yes, when these platforms was a little bit new, and uh, people just shared a photo here and there, or they shared uh, some story here and there, and it was a little bit more, it, it was uh, a little bit more maybe playful or something like that, where it wasn't really so much, uh, let's say, a business. Well, then you can so you can sort of have these vanity metrics uh, track likes and uh, track likes and uh, sort of track followers and sort of everyone is sort of playing this game. But as you scale this up, as you scale this up to millions of people, uh, you can see that you need you just need better technology uh, with with a deeper understanding over. Okay, so if everyone is going to be on these platforms, you need people to have access to better tools so they can, if they want to appear more professional, if they want to find more professional stuff also, if they want to network, you need proof of brain systems. You need ways where the users, if they, ha if they have something that is more valuable. So for example, the like at the moment, it doesn't really cost a human anything to click on. So it's very, let's say, cheap. It's the same as with the follower count. It's a lot of these, you you want actions to be of higher value. So we can sort of skip all this nonsense that doesn't really matter that much in the long run. For example, likes that has no real world value. And this is really interesting just because likes doesn't cost the average Instagram user anything, but it does cost their time, you know, like in the background. And it does cost how in many ways it can make the platform worse and, or more vanity, more vanity metrics where you want to, you, you want, you, you still want to be able to measure stuff. You still want to be able to measure stuff, but you want to measure it from more of a adult and professional sort of perspective where people really doing their best work and not just, okay, so a lot of people are doing uh, work on the Instagram and in a way it can kind of be cool, a little bit playful. I sort of get that. But uh, just because they don't have a digital token, just because they don't have a share in the network, they don't really have an incentive to sort of care for the whole ecosystem. So what has happened with the Instagram is people have selfish incentives, so they can sort of see, okay, I can get some quicker success here, but at the expense of the platform or at the expense of all the other users because they are not really making anything. And uh, it's very interesting on Instagram also because you don't feel like you have an incentive to empower someone else or to sort of promote them. They're, um, yeah, because it's like, wh what are you getting out of it? You're not really getting anything out of it. So I think a big part in the future is going to be that people want better, more sophisticated share systems. So 
a lot of people can just focus on empowering a lot of other people. And, and these vanity metrics are not really empowering people at the moment. They are cheap. They are not really worth anything. They, they are super vanity. And it, it's, not, it's not creating anything of lasting value. You're not really building anything long term. So Instagram is, is going to... They already have experimented with hiding the likes. And how I think they're doing it is they're taking it away from the interface and making it so that only the person can sort of see the like count. I want, for example, in, in the future, even more customized interfaces where, for example, you can hide a follower count for yourself and uh, and those things because I a lot of these numbers can be very distracting and they may not tell that much. And especially when, you, when you're moving into a world with so many numbers here and there, we just want sort of the best metrics. So numbers should be attached to proof of brain. Numbers should be attached to date. Uh, and, and it should be on a blockchain in many ways. A lot of stuff can be like on a blockchain where uh, there's a lot of weird stuff with a lot of platforms where, for example, a lot of systems don't have a way where you can see when something was posted and maybe you don't even know if it's our original source if it's authentic so and also how a, a lot of stuff that happens in these apps it's not really connected to real digital systems so in many ways it's, it's like shell systems that was built kind of quick and then people sort of starting to realize okay we're sort of building this on sand it's not really, we don't really have a stable foundation. We don't have, um, if, if you don't create this sort of environment where sort of people are educating other people and um, combining educating with, yes, fun and all this, but you need, uh, for example, with Instagram, just because the only metrics that sort of decides a lot of stuff is a click, a like click that uh, you don't know like it's not really anything of lasting influence in terms of you don't have a person cannot have weight uh, a person cannot have weight everyone has the same sort of one tap click but you can't really see who is invested more in the platform and who is trying to uh, build themselves up it's very hard to see who is professional on uh, instagram and who is just derping around so you really want amazing pla a, a, an amazing better technology for this uh, which of course is something that we know in sort of the blockchain space and um and if you create the right environment then uh, people start people are gonna people are probably gonna use it more in professional ways and i think we're going to see that in the next couple of years and uh what a lot of people are probably going to realize then is i mean just as we can have like professional content on um on a, on a tv or a tv shows you, the um the idea for example if you're watching a tv you're not liking you're not commenting on it most people are just consuming and uh that's sort of how it should be, right? And it shouldn't have to be this sort of uh, competition. So the cool thing is when you're bringing in real better metrics with proof of brain is you sort of remove in many ways the competition aspect because you're amping up the quality massively. So a person is not even, they, they're not like forced to compete with all the others in, uh, in, in, in limited space. So the Instagram app, it feels like the space is very, very limited because, well, you, you have this limited spacing of who, how many people that can be seen on the front with these super vanity metrics. And um, let's say you have 10 people that, that uh, extremely care about, uh, about a particular piece of value. But their like is still as much worth as a like from a person that very rarely or maybe not even care at all about Instagram or, or the person on there. So it's really, really cool how they're starting to sort of tweak, how they're going to start to tweak the experiences. And hopefully 
with better technology, you're going to be able to customize exactly what it is, what kind of personalized experience you want in the, in the interface. So you can sort of remove certain vanity stuff that you don't want to see, and you can measure other stuff that you sort of want to see. And uh, eventually it's probably going to lead to amazing, amazing systems that are that are 100x better than what people are currently using because the current social media that people are using is, is still is identical to how it worked in 2010 and now moving into 2020s need way more, way more sophisticated systems, way more engaging systems, way more rewarding systems and way more inclusive systems that looks at the whole the ecosystem as a whole. So these this 2010 social media phase that we still sort of are in, it didn't really consider the ecosystem as a whole. It only considers the, every individual as an independent person that sort of has to struggle and compete against uh, the rest. Well, you can sort of move away with that when we get more computing power and uh, when we can just decide, okay, we're just going to use a few proof of brain metrics and we're just going to get to the source. We're going to get to the value instantly, the source, and um, you only have the great stuff and uh, kind of try to move away from a lot of the nonsense that is not really needed if we just go professional and proof of brain metrics. So I'm looking forward to see that more in the future. So yeah, have a great day, DTube and Steam blockchain. Bye-bye.